Hey guys, this is this week's story lesson for our kindergartners, first graders, and second graders. It's called Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar. So this month of April, we've been talking a lot about gardens and springtime. And so this is a story about Pete the Cat and his friends going on an insect hunt, an insect safari. They had magnifying glasses and they walk around their neighborhood looking for different bugs. This is something that you could do too, right? So let's listen to the story. I'm going to share the screen right now. And we're gonna listen to the story together. Here we go. Pete the cat and the cool caterpillar. The cat and the cool caterpillar by James Dean. Pete is on a bug safari. He and his friends are looking for bugs. How many bugs can they find? Callie spots a tiny black ant. It's building an anthill, she says. Groovy, says Pete. Gus finds a round red ladybug in the mint patch. It has nine spots, says Gus. Nice, says Pete. Marty sees a big black spider. It caught a fly, he says. Neat, says Pete. Pete finds a green caterpillar in the flower pot. I will bring it home to show mom and dad, he says. Mom helps Pete build a home for the caterpillar. They use a big jar. Dad puts lots of little holes in the lid for air. Pete puts the caterpillar in the jar. Pete puts some leaves in the jar for the caterpillar to eat. He adds a twig for it to crawl on. Good night, Pete, says Mom. Good night, Pete, says Dad. Good night, caterpillar, says Pete. When Pete wakes up, the caterpillar is gone. Where did it go? Did it run away? It is not gone, says mom. It did not run away, says dad. Look, they say. The caterpillar is inside there, says mom. It's called a pupa. Will it stay in there forever? Pete asks. No, says dad. The caterpillar is changing into something new. What will it become? Pete asks. It's a surprise, says mom. We must wait and see. Pete waits. Callie comes to visit. Did it come out yet? She asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits some more. Gus comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits even longer. Marty comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits and waits and waits. Then, one day, something finally happens. The pupa starts to wiggle. Something is happening, says Pete. It wiggles some more. 
everyone comes over to watch. The pupa cracks open. Something is coming out. What can it be? A head pokes out. Then some legs. And then two colorful wings. The caterpillar changed into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, says Pete. The butterfly slowly moves its wings up and down. It is ready to fly. They take the jar to the park. Time to say goodbye, says Dad. Pete opens the lid of the jar. The butterfly flaps its wings. It flutters out of the jar and lands on Pete's nose. That tickles, he says. <laughs> then the butterfly flies up into the sky. Bye bye, butterfly, everyone says. Let's find a new caterpillar, says Pete. Change is pretty cool. So what did you think of that story? You have Pete the cat and his friends looking around for bugs and they meet a caterpillar like this guy. And that he starts off like this, goes inside of a pupa or chrysalis and boom, becomes a beautiful butterfly, right? All right, so we have one more video to go with this story. So I hope that you and your grown up helpers will go to the next uh, video on our YouTube page so that we can talk about all the characters, the settings, and the sequence of all the events in our Pete the Cat story. See you in a second.